Hello, everyone. My name is Felix Torres. I'm the Artistic and Executive Director for the East Texas Youth Orchestra. For those of you who aren't familiar with the organization, we've got two full orchestras, one string orchestra, and we also have our Jazz Academy, which was started just a few years ago. But I wanted to take some time and introduce you to some alumni, some important people in the area, teachers, lesson teachers, anybody who's a supporter of the arts in the area. And hopefully this will be an ongoing series that we'll be able to share with you to bring some light to what we're doing out in East Texas as far as the arts go. Today, I wanted to introduce William Kariampuza, who is alum of the East Texas Youth Orchestra. So welcome to the show, William. Thank you for having me, Mr. Torres. Absolutely. So what I'd like to start for everybody watching at home is how did you get your start in music? And then we can go straight into how did you get involved with ETYO and how long you were a part of the organization? Yes, I, I guess I don't really come from a very musical family. Whenever I was uh, in middle school, we all had to choose a fine arts. And I just wanted to do the coolest thing possible. And what every 13-year-old boy or 12-year-old boy thinks is the saxophone. So I decided to try out for the saxophone. And uh, Mr. Howard Gowley at, at Bishop Gorman Catholic School, he trained me up until I was fortunate to start lessons with Dr. Sarah Roberts, who's currently a professor in ETYO and at UT Tyler. Then she was actually at, at TJC. But I continued on, and the more I practiced, the more I fell in love with it. And I think that was one of the beauties of my music education. And as I got better and better, I finally was told about the East Texas Youth Orchestra in the spring of 2014 as a eighth grader. And then I tried out and started. And I think one of those first days was definitely my favorite time in ETYO. Granted, the entire experience from 2014 to 2018 was fantastic. But I think that just the shock of going from like a small 20, 30 piece band to a full orchestra playing alto sax and, and being one of the few representatives of a hybrid brass and wind instrument was really a special moment for me. And I think some of my favorite pieces that, that we played were the Firebird Suite, The Empire Strikes Back. I love playing Jupiter by Holtz. That was more recent, uh, I think 2017, 2018. And also Guyan Sword Dance. Harper Bazzano and I got to do a little solo for Guyan Sword Dance. And, and I just really cherish those moments playing those, those songs in ETYO. And also the camaraderie of everyone. I met so many uh, fan fantastic and phenomenal players and phenomenal people in, in ETYO. And I think that was just ETYO was just a phenomenal experience for me. And I'm, I'm so grateful that I had that experience. And so... I guess moving forward, that's set me up for where I wanted to go in the future and with music. Before we get to your next steps after high school, you mentioned two things. One is the camaraderie. And I always talk about this with our kids now is you have the unique pleasure and experience of getting to know students from all over the area. Now, when we talk about the Fort Worth Youth Orchestra, Greater Dallas, Houston, that's a small pocket or at least area because it's more dense. But for ETYO, we have students now that drive all the way from Nacogdoches, Lufkin, over to Longview and Pine Tree and Marshall, getting closer to Louisiana. And then we have a student who just joined us this semester from DCAP. We're talking huge swaths of East Texas that get to come together and, and join each other. But then the other thing you mentioned was the instrument that you play. And people watching may or may not know, if you're an orchestra person, you'll know for sure. But if you're not, or if you're into music a little bit, or just like to observe, that William plays the saxophone, which traditionally, unfortunately, isn't really included in too many aspects of orchestra. So why don't you talk a little bit about what that experience was like coming in as a saxophonist and what the challenges were there? Yeah, I think being a, being a saxophonist in the East Texas Youth Orchestra definitely had a lot of challenges that I think grew me as a player. I think one of the first things that, that we just jumped into was transposition and transposing into horn parts in F or oboe parts in, I think, B flat. And then I think we had to play some A clarinet parts. And so there was a lot of learning that I had to do very quickly to stay afloat ETYO. But also I was given the opportunity to do a couple of pieces with saxophone that were written with specific saxophone parts. 
And I think one was Bizet. That was a amazing experience to be able to play like saxophone specific parts and represent that underrepresented instrument in the orchestra. And also I think as I moved forward a little more into like junior and, and senior year, I got to learn not just transposition and, and the cognitive side about it, but really understanding another instrument's place and another instrument's intonation. And so I really got the opportunity to learn how to play my saxophone like a trumpet sounds or like a French horn and really fit in to the timbre and really understand the dynamics of all those. It was so much learning and I, I think that's what I really liked about it. It was dynamic every day. I never knew what kind of part I was going to get next. I never knew if I was going to be playing a bassoon or, or even switching mid-concert from the tenor sax um, bassoon parts back to alto sax for maybe some clarinet parts. So it was very dynamic, very energetic, and, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I've heard some stories from, because music kind of runs in your family, if you will. Uh, you, your sister is part of ETYO. And I've heard some stories about just, oh, yeah, yeah, he was great at transposition and just throw a part in front of him and he would just figure it out on the fly. So kudos to you for for taking that on. We have a saxophonist now who played pictures at an exhibition. So there's you know one specific movement in there that has a lot of alto sax and then gave him some parts to transpose and, and work on that to help us out in some of the double read stuff. So anyway, let's move on. So you graduate high school and you grew up in Tyler and went to high school in Tyler, which is in East Texas, and you graduate and you're headed where? I'm headed to West Texas, actually. I was fortunate to be accepted to the Undergraduate to Medical School Initiative Program at Texas Tech University, where I'm guaranteed acceptance into medical school, and also was fortunate to be sponsored by a National Merit Scholarship. And um, I'm thankful that's a, a full ride. And it's been a great opportunity at Texas Tech. I've really enjoyed all the opportunities there and everything there with regard to extracurriculars and, and academics, and also just the community in Lubbock. I uh, didn't actually get to fit in my schedule to some band or formal instrument to play, but I was able to join the church choir, and that that was a amazing experience. I think it was it, it took that dynamic, all the dynamic stuff that I learned in ETYO, and applied it in a completely new setting. Because sometimes, if I was lucky, they would give me the key it was in, or would, they would give me the chord changes. So it was very much playing completely by ear. I learned so much from the pianist. He was a, a jazz pianist and played in a band for so many years. And he blows my mind every time I, I play. And, and I've been playing there for like for two, three years. And that was a, an amazing learning opportunity as well. And, and I think all the lessons that I learned from ETY helped me to jump into that new setting with not a lot of structure and also join a couple of other local groups. But also, it really helped me um, build a community at Texas Tech because I think just playing an instrument is amazing, is an amazing way to meet other people and just to share stories and share in a group experience that's really hard to get in any other setting. So I'm very grateful for, for the things that ETYO has done and for where it's taken me. That's great to hear. We talk all the time about how students may not go on to be a professional musician, or they may not go on to be a teacher. They may want to go in, in engineering or medical school or be a lawyer. You're a testament yourself to, yeah, I didn't get a chance to enroll in any classes, but you still found an outlet for performance and for camaraderie. So that's great to hear. Let's talk about how this all came to be. You sent me an email a couple of days ago about something that you're involved in and you wanted to share it with our musicians. And we're going to send out the links to everyone and I'll put it in the description and wherever this is going to be posted, I'll share all of those as the deadline's coming up. But why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. So at Texas Tech, I've uh, been fortunate to get involved with student organizations and I helped incorporate a service student organization called the STEM and Leaf Corps. We provide educational outreach and opportunities for K through 12 students. I've been with that organization for the past two years, and, and I've helped grow it and um, moved up from just being a tutor to now um, a co-president of the organization. And last year as treasurer, I incorporated it as a 501c3 nonprofit. And we also reshaped the organization as a platform for service. What that means is we've taken a lot of what we've done in the past and just innovated on it. One of the new opportunities that we have created is the special topics program. So I actually started this program a whole year ago when I was working on a mathematical linguistics problem. And it was a research problem and I, I wanted some help with doing data collection and working out some of the, the kinks of the problem. And as a primary investigator, I decided to uh, enlist a couple of 
high school students. That program grew to last semester being two programs, computational biology and computational linguistics. And this semester, we are very fortunate to have expanded it greatly. We are now offering 11 topics ranging from ancient Greek philosophy to biotechnology to investing. Specifically, I, I reached out to ETYO because one of our programs is music and memory. So this is a fantastic opportunity for students to engage in music discussions and really understand how music affects the human physiology, the human psychology, and also just the human person. That's specifically why I reached out to ETYO. And I think this is a fantastic opportunity. I know I would have loved to participate in some of these when I was in ETYO whenever I was at high school. It's open to anybody and it's one hour per week and it's completely virtual and completely free. Students can apply, and I believe we are extending the deadline about one day, but the current deadline is Friday, January 22nd, 2021 at uh, midnight. All of this stuff has been incredibly fascinating, and I wish we had more time to get into all the different programs that you have, but specifically about the music and memory program. Give us the 60-second bare bones cursory overview of the music and memory program. Yeah, so we're really excited about the Music and Memory program because students will get to really take a look at how music affects perception and cognition and memory, and then really delve into what makes a piece memorable. So like Beethoven's Fifth, a lot more popular than, say, Dvorak's New World Symphony, or why is it more memorable? Students can also take a look at other potential uses for music, like in education or in therapy specifically. I've had the opportunity to go to nursing homes and do music therapy um, and play concerts for nursing home patients. And this is just one of the amazing ways that music can change people's lives and, and make the world a, a better place. So um, students will get the opportunity to discuss all these factors, all the things between music and memory. But also, if students really want to be proactive, there's an opportunity to do experimentation and do research and do get some cutting edge breakthroughs or learn something new and contribute to the knowledge between music and memories. I think it's going to be a, a fantastic interdisciplinary program. I really enjoy these programs because uh, it's not really often that you get the opportunity to engage in, in some of these discussions until college. That's what we, we really want to do. It's so interesting that you mentioned interdisciplinary. That's not something that maybe a lot of high school students may experience. But when you talk about how music impacts the brain and or how hearing something can have a physical effect on you, whether it be neurochemical or any of these other elements, it goes beyond just the physical part. There's just so many interesting things that have to do with it. Thank you so much, William, for coming and talking with us about not only your time in ETYO, but the things that you're dealing with in the, the STEM LEAF and CORE program. We will put all of those links in the description so that you can find out more information. And as he mentioned earlier, it is a 501c3 program. So I would imagine that there are some places that they can make donations if you'd like to support this program. Thank you, William, for being here, and I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Mr. Torres, for everything you've done and everything you will do in the future. I know ETYO is going great places with you, and thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in to our very first episode, and a special thank you to William Carey Puza for joining us. You can find out more about the STEM, LEAF, and CORE program at the description or in the links below. And you can also find out more about the East Texas Youth Orchestra at etyo.org. Be sure to hit subscribe or subscribe in your podcast player of choice and follow us along on this journey. Thanks for joining us.